Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start with this simple scene, including just four primitive objects. Two of them are polygonal and two of them are still parametric. And I'm gonna create the conditional rig here based on the Python node. So when these polygonal objects collide to each other, those parametric ones will move in different direction. And let me start building this rig by adding the collision node. Obviously it's gonna need some objects to use, so I drag this polygonal sphere and cube to the canvas. Then we gotta connect these nodes together in some way. And we can do this by adding the object output. Looks like it's done and we are ready to link each of those nodes to the corresponding ports of collision node. And finally it's time to introduce the Python node itself. You can find it by going to new node express or script Python. And this node is all about scripting. You can see by default it has just a casual add expression here. It simply takes two values and then returns the sum. And let me just give you a couple of brief examples to prove it. Let's quickly add the result node here and then add it to Python node's output port. Right now it's gonna give us the value of 0 and that's just because we don't have any signal yet so let's fix this. And it looks like values of 1 and 2 give us the result of 3 just as expected. So now let's go ahead and create something more interesting here. Let's quickly bring a few more nodes first just to simulate the incoming signal. I'm gonna gently connect these nodes together and then increase the value up to 1. According to this little script we are going to write here, this value is going to be multiplied by another value. So let's quickly duplicate this node, and this time let's give it something more significant, like 200 units. That way, when it comes to moving those parametric cubes, we'll be able to at least notice the result. Let's connect this second constant node to input 2 port of the Python node, and then start modifying this little script we have here by changing this plus sign to asterisk sign. That way we are telling this Python node to multiply those signals instead of just adding them together. But right now you can't actually tell so, just because of this result node, which is giving us the same old signal we used to have. And it seems like it's just too lazy to refresh itself, so just press play and it's done. So far so good. And as we want eventually to manipulate positions of those parametric cubes, let's drag them to the Expresso canvas. Let's connect first one of them to the Python node using global position Y port. And it simply makes it jumping up in the air for 200 units. So let's go ahead and let it do this only when collision between these two objects is happening. Let's set a bool port as input 3 and connect it to collision node. That way this Python node knows about collision event and it's up to us to make it reacting on it. So again, what we want to tell this Python node to do is to leave that cube up in the air for 200 units only when collision event is detected. So I type in here if input 3 equals equals 1 column meaning that if collision is happening, please execute this line below. And don't forget to shift this line by pressing tab button on the keyboard. Otherwise, it just won't work. Unlike some of the other languages like Objective-C, these indentation issues are simply vital here in Python. And what about this situation when collision is not actually happening? So let's take care of that by extending this expression with else statement. Let's type in else colon here, then press enter to get the correct indentation. And type in output 1 equals 0, meaning that we want it to stay where it is. Let's quickly prove that it works by making those objects colliding with each other. You can see that our little script works just fine here. And let's extend it by taking another cube primitive into action. As we know, we gotta be using another output port for this. Let's quickly tell about it to this Python node. And we can simply do this by adding global output2 line, which simply creates this new global variable called output2. So next we gotta support it with actual incoming signal, which is gonna make that second parametric cube going down. Let's quickly add a new input for this purpose. This time it's gonna be integer input called input4. So let's send minus 200 units to this port, as we know the second parametric cube is gonna go down. In this particular case I'm gonna use negate node, which can be found by going to new node, expresso, calculate, negate. And let's quickly use it in combination with initial constant node to invert its signal. Let's quickly connect these nodes together. And then let's go back to the Python nodes properties to continue working on this little script we have here. I'm gonna quickly type output 2 equals input 4 here, meaning that if collision is happening, the second parametric cube should go down by 200 units. As for the else statement, I'm gonna put the line output 2 equals 0 here. And that should tell this Python node to do nothing with second parametric cube 
if collision is not happening. So we've done with our little script here, but if I try to collide those objects together, we won't get the result we needed. And that's because we have only one parametric cube on the canvas so far. Let's bring the second one here, then activate its global position by input and connect it to the output 2 of the Python node. And that should do the trick. If we now try to collide these polygonal objects with each other, we'll get the result we wanted. The first cube is going up, while the second one is going in opposite direction. And that's the example of using this Python node in combination with other nodes to achieve this certain result. And bear in mind that knowing this Python scripting language itself would be a great advantage for you when creating different effects in Cinema 4D. So, that's the Python node. And if you really like these Expressor tutorials, you can find the whole course devoted to Expresso available on the App Store. Just type in Expresso or follow the link below.